Alexei I. Patrick Byrne. August 27, 2019 by Anna Von writes. I never knew Patrick Byrne until yesterday. More's the pity. He's the former CEO of Overstock.com. He resigned to protect the shareholders from any fallout resulting from his testimony and evidence regarding the FBI knowingly and purposefully engaging in political espionage against both political parties. Yes, you heard that right. Both. It wasn't just Donald Trump. Or Marco Rubio. Or Ted Cruz. All of them were targets, but so was Hillary Clinton. And the whole object of it? Blackmail. Trying to get some dirt on the candidates to use against them both before and after the election. You see, it isn't just about who wins or loses, or which political party is online to do what bit of nastiness. It's about being able to blackmail them the whole time they are in office. That's what the FBI has been told its job is. The career field agents were deeply shamed by the whole setup. They knew what was going on and couldn't stop it. Their superiors were corrupt and giving them corrupt orders and they knew it. But what do you do when you are a grunt with 30 years in the service and nowhere else to go? This is why it is so important for those of us who are outside the federal box to stand tall and stand guard and help those who are inside the box, because they are Americans, too. And most of them are very loyal Americans. One of the things that Patrick shared was a warning he received to the effect that if he came forward, if he cared about America, he'd be killed and the Washington establishment would grind him into dust. I'd say it's time we all turned on the headlights of this old jalopy called America and roared our V8 engines. It's the Beltway denizens that are slated for the stamping mill, and their bosses, too. The IRS, FBI, and BLM along with numerous other federal agencies, none of which have any constitutional right to exist, all of them are nothing but private subcontractors on our soil operating under color of law, are being run by a single renegade corporation calling itself the government of the United States. So who owns this F up? Who are the board members directing this crap? Who are the shareholders benefiting from it? These are the people that killed Lavoie Finicum. These are the vermin that made the wildlife refuge occupation an issue. These are the little lying sneak thief cheat experts not doing their jobs and sitting there fat and sassy, on our payroll, talking down to us. These are the rodents responsible for the misadministration of the IRS, Internal Revenue Service. And now, these are the same people responsible for political espionage for the purpose of blackmail. So who are they? Where are they chartered? Where do the board members live? What kind of car do they drive? What kind of toilet paper do they use? What kind of religion do they practice? Who are the shareholders? What do the shareholders say about this? How much more of this criminal crap goes on before they lose all those juicy federal contracts? And have their faces plastered on billboards and posted in post offices as criminals? Hey! All you researchers out there, all you legal eagles, all you constitutional sheriffs, all you continental marshals, all you US marshals, come on. Get the lead out. This is a clear and present danger to our whole country. If a great grandma in a place like Big Lake, Alaska, could figure this out in 10 minutes spent on a computer doing a multiple database search, what possible excuse do you have for standing there with your thumbs up here? And when you get the answer and you are still too afraid to do anything about it, come to me. I'll be glad to show you how to nail hides to barn doors. It's an old-fashioned pioneer skill. As for everyone else reading this, let's show the Beltway scum that cost Patrick Byrne his job what we think of them, by doing all our holiday shopping at Overstock.com. Let's also join in saying a prayer for this country and for all of us.